Cheers, Jim. Con, I'll be brief. <laughs> uh, first, I want to say is that this this book of the law, the category of the law, uh, the credit needs to go to uh, Parzar. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All right. Yeah. Right. I can attest that this book of the law, as far as the category, took at least three to four years to compile because it was much revision, much tedious long nights at the computer, and much being brought into conversations that a lot of times I wasn't really ready to go into the conversation <laughs> at the time that he wanted to have the conversation. But it's a work of love that we have this book of the law in the category. And the purpose of this is to make our studying of the law, which is our constitution, that much more easier. It makes our effort to teach our people the law that much more easier because you can categorize the law under different topics. All right? And with that being said, what we stand for as a nation, the Mashra Yasha Allah, is that unification of our people under the Thaura, which is the law, and under Yahweh Shah HaMashayak. That's the difference between us and those that don't want to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. The major difference, okay? We might not agree on doctrine. Democrats and Republicans don't agree on a lot of things, but yet they still run this country. That's right. Okay? They come to the middle of the walkway and pass laws to discriminate, to discriminate against us. So how much disagreement are they in? Are they, are they really in? Okay? They can come together and give themselves a pay raise, so you figure that one out. All right? So why can't we come together? We're obligated to come together. In all the camps that are represented here, you're part of a nation. And you are the go-to camp within that gate. We're in the gate of San Diego. I mean, excuse me, San Antonio. San Antonio, okay? Just like we was in the gate of California, just like we was in the gate of North Carolina, just like we was in the gate of Washington, D.C., just like we was in the gate of Ohio, okay? It's not about a camp. It's not about a congregation, all right? Right, right. It's not about a community, but it's about a nation. That's right. All camps, all schools, all communities, all congregations are a part of this nation. And you brothers, your first hat is to be a soldier for your nation. Coming under the order of your camp and your officers and your elders within your gate, coming under that order of the Mashra Yashiala, which is this council that sits before you. This is how we go forth as a nation, okay? Because look at our enemies, okay? You have the KKK, the Aryan Nation, the skinheads, the neo-Nazis, the uh, militia have publicly made a public statement saying that they're putting aside all their differences to come together under one common cause. And we know what the common cause is, is to go against us. Okay, and all immigrants, and all nationalities beside themselves, all right? And they said they will not tolerate any infighting that goes against that unity that they're trying to develop. So that means they are on a bigger vision, okay? They're looking at the bigger picture. They're looking at a better policy to enforce to come against us in warfare. We got to do the same, all right? So when you go back to your respective gates, okay, and we go back to your respective camps within your respective cities, which is the gate, you represent the nation, which you are a part of. In all camps, schools, congregations that you come across within the prospective states that you're gonna to travel to or you go back to, there's no excuse for them not to become part of the Mashra Yashala, okay? Because if we can't agree upon the Thara, which is our constitution, then you're out of order because you're not being obedient 
to the Thara, which is our constitution. And if we can't agree upon Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who is our Lord and personal Savior, the Messiah, then you really can't be a part of our nation. All right. All right? And if you can't agree upon those two principles, then who are you for? Okay, you're against your people. That's right. Okay, you're against your brother, you're against your sister. Everything else is minuscule, it's minor. Okay? Because there's bigger issues to deal with. We got Planned Parenthood that we need to deal with. Okay? It ain't about whether or not you agree upon this or you don't agree upon that. That has nothing to do with that sister that wants to commit murder against our future of our nation. All right? We're obligated to give her the proper advice and encouragement not to commit that murder. Okay? The blood is on our hands because we know better. Okay, and then we start to deal with these other issues within our gates and within our cities as far as the whole proliferation of drugs within our communities. Okay, we're obligated to give the proper uh, information and the proper counseling to prevent brothers from going down that road, which is what? Self-destruction. And a lot of us came out of that road leading on to self-destruction. And this is what the law book it's obligated to do for us, to bring us back into covenant with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Right. All right? And this government, not to be long-winded, it's more than just what the brother just mentioned here. There's other departments. But we're not going to give out all these departments right now. We're going to deal in order and deal with the officers and the elders within the camps that are represented within this Council of the Sixth Summit, and then from them, they will just, uh, give the information to the brothers within their camp. So the brothers who have these skills and these and this uh, knowledge and information can come up and give the information to their leaders so they can in turn give it to the council, and now we can disseminate the information and put forth the agenda and the orders. That's order. Okay? And that's how we... Uh, live up to Zephaniah 2 and 1, gather yourself together on nation not desire. It uh -huh. takes order and organization. This is what you're seeing before you. That order and structure which you're a part of. Okay? And there's going to be training. Alright? There's going to be uh, more information given out, but it's going to be given out in order and proper protocol. And that's what's being established. Okay? And you're all representatives of that. Because you're the men, you're the soldiers, you're the future leaders of the, gener of the next generation. Okay, our children, our sisters need that leadership. Okay, your sons and daughters that are being ri risen up in your house following the Thaura of the law book, well, you're going to have to find proper husbands and proper wives for your sons and daughters. Okay, unless you want them to go out in the world like you did. Okay, and, 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 throw, those, and throw those bones on the ground taking a gamble. And then wondering, you know, looking at the mirror, why I made that mistake. Well, you're obligated to make sure your sons and daughters don't make the same mistake that you made. Because nowadays you make a mistake, it's going to cost you your life. That's the game, okay? It's serious out here. We're, the war is against our nationality. The war is against manhood and sisterhood, okay? This transgender, uh, this transgender uh, agenda is a part of the homosexual agenda, all right? And it's against us and against the order of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So with that being said, I said I'd be brief. I hope that was brief. I said, Kwam Yashalom! Kwam Yashalom! Kwam Yashalom! Kwam When you visit the Mashara Yashala Facebook page, we'll also have the uh, m uh, new moon schedule as well as the uh, convocation schedule. It's already on there, okay? But I will make announcements as the convocations come up. Just visit that page until we get the uh, Mashara Yashala. Yashala. Zaki got a question. Uh, could we get the Passover at one place? You think we can get it done? It's in the process. It's, it's, yeah. it's in the planning. Yeah, we need to do that. Okay, yeah, come. Come. Yeah. Yeah.
Which website? Oh, we have a button? No, not yet. I said it. Yeah. Um, right now, you can go to the uh, Mashra Yashala Facebook page. Facebook page, okay. Does anybody have a Spanish Bible with them? No. Sean? Yeah, I need somebody to read uh, uh, James 1 and 1. Yeah. Sí, porque lo que tenemos que entender es que la mayoría de, de la, la gente nuestra no hablan inglés, no hablan francés. La mayoría de las 12 tribus de Israel hablan en español o portugués. En idiomas como más, sé que se llama la idioma latina, ¿verdad? Romanzo, ¿verdad? Se llama. Y no más estamos enseñando a la gente aquí que vive en los Estados Unidos porque vienen acá. Pero hay que buscar las obras perdidas del, del Altísimo, de Yahweh, el poder, el más poderoso de, de, de Israel. Pero no vivimos aquí, casi ninguna de la gente vive acá. La mayoría de la gente nuestra, de las 12 tribus de Israel, viven afuera de los Estados Unidos de América. Y ya lo que tenemos que hacer es formarnos como una nación, como un, un pueblo unido, para viajar, y no más para viajar, pero también para vivir. ¿Dónde está la gente? Para ponernos un base nacional de las obras perdidas en, en, en donde viven la gente. So the majority of our people don't speak English. I don't know if y'all know that. The majority of our people speak Portuguese and Spanish. English is like the third on the list as far as the children of Israel. Most of our people speak Spanish and English. Uh, Spanish and, uh, and, and Portuguese. Okay, you have 14 million black people alone. We're not talking about blacks and Indians. We're talking about black people alone. From uh, Brazil, okay? And a lot of y'all look at me, I'm, I'm not from the house of Judah, just so you know, I'm from the house of Israel. I'm not from Judah, Benjamin, or Levi, I'm from the tribe of Gad. Oh, yeah. And the most I put a passion in my heart to reach out, there's no such thing as, as, as Hispanic, Native American, Latino. It's only what tribe you came from out of Yaikwa. That's your tribe. Okay. All right, when you read the scripture, I know a lot of brothers say northern and southern, but I never saw that phrase in the scripture. I saw House of Israel and House of Israel.